got these, I want to say ultra cheap batteries, but you know, you don't want to say cheap because that makes them sound worthless, but uh, and they claim to be Panasonic. 48 volt, 14 amp hour, 70 bucks. Let me think, after tax, I think I paid uh, what $85 each whereas you know they're they're twice the price I don't know why these are so inexpensive okay so the guys their communication was great um, the only issue I had no I didn't have any issue the the funny thing was that they communicated in uh, uh, Chinese and had to use the translator I was just wondering how high my head is here. If I have to get down here to talk. Anyway, point being, uh, when I got them, they sent me the European plug, which is 220 volt, which is no big deal because the charger uh, will take input 100 to 240 volt. This is something I noticed uh, when I first went to China in... Uh, 2005 that a lot of devices have this uh, huge voltage range um, when I came back from China and I was looking at plugging in well for a visit and I went to plug in my cell phone I found out oh so same thing with laptops and everything they have this um, huge rating I actually think that it will take longer in the United States for things to charge up at a lower voltage. I could be wrong. There may be inverse properties there. Um, power. Mm. Yeah, I think the power, I think it'd be the same. Come to think of it, I'd have to do the math. Anyway, point being, so I've got these chargers, batteries, and incorrect plug-ins and I communicated with them and they said they are sending me American versions which that's very nice of them I really hate to cost them extra expense but what I'm going to do what I realized something that we had been talking about for a long time is putting the chargers in the box with the batteries so this will be the power port, the uh, charging port for the uh, bike, and then I can just plug this in and have my neuter plug here. Shouldn't matter because it still comes out to be that it's AC power. So, tools. And the fact is, I'll never use these, so it's not going to matter if I screw them up. So I'll put them off there. Let's see what it looks like. Look how thin they are. Let's see if I can get this off of here. Go back a little further. I don't think I nicked them. That is some fine wires. These are 2 amp output. Okay, so my idea is let's do both of them. So, my idea is, put 
put them together. I wonder if I'm recording. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Okay, put them together. And I have the little pluggy here. And since I have Yeah, I know. Let's not let's not discuss uh, what uh, concerns. Let's see. That one on. I guess the word would be gender neuter, right? Because uh, it doesn't have the line and. Come on, get through there. Yeah. It's not like I have fat fingers or anything like that. Alright, so I should solder these on here now. The The word being should. Come on, folks, stop driving down the street. I'm recording here. Post office. What's he delivering? We don't have post office, post boxes. What am I trying to say? We don't have mailboxes on our houses. We have to go down the street and get the mail out of boxes, a cluster of boxes. It's like living in an apartment or something. But yeah, it's okay, it's not bad. I'll go walk down there. Alright, so I am going to solder these on here. Then you figure these are rated at 2 amp. All the wiring is um, at least 15 amp, 10 to 15 amps, so that's not going to be an issue if I have them both plugged into one plug and plugged into the wall charging. It shouldn't be any big deal. So I'm going to stop and solder these together, and that's what I'm doing.